everybody, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Dazzled or Disappointed for you on something that I don't think has launched, but it kind of has. I picked mine up at Sephora inside JCPenney. It was something that they already had in stock and they just hadn't put out yet, but they were able to sell it. But if you go on to Sephora's website, it is not yet available. And it is on the Makeup Forever Let's Gold eyeshadow palette. It's been a minute since Makeup Forever, at least that I can remember, has released an eyeshadow palette. And so this was one I knew I wanted to pick up. I know that I'm kind of on a low buy right now, but those things that are really, that intrigue me or that I haven't purchased in a while or that just are speaking to me or drawing me in, I do want to pick up and this was one of them. So if you are curious to see if this palette is right for you, if it's going to work for you, if you're going to like these shades, then just keep on watching and we'll go through swatches, details, what's on my eyes and all that good stuff. So if you are interested in this, then just keep on watching. So first off, the box comes like this, which looks very, very similar to the palette. So if you're like me and you like to hold on to your boxes, if they're different from your palette, then you can toss the box because they pretty much look the same. On the back, you do have a diagram of the palette as well as a des description. And I'm going to read the description to you off of the back of the box because I was unable to find the description online, at least not yet. It says, Steal the Makeup Show with Let's Gold, a new palette highlighting the beauty of gold and its countless variations. From white gold to rose gold, mix and match any of the 18 gold hues. Let's Gold features golden shades in three different finishes, fiery mattes, shiny metallics, and warm chromes. Get inspired by our three-step tutorial cards, unveil your creativity, and join us on a golden trip. Fall for this irresistibly, irresistible beauty and go for gold. So that's what you've got on the box. When you get into the palette, it is very, very sturdy, very hefty. It doesn't feel flimsy or cheap. It feels like a very good, it is cardboard, but it feels very hefty. And like I said, it doesn't feel any kind of cheap or anything like that. On the back, it just tells you the name of the palette as well as the volume. So you've got 18 shades at 0 0.9 grams uh, or net weight of 18 at 0 0.03 ounces. Um, it is made in Italy. Um, and like it said, it comes with, like, I think I'm gonna say for like the third time, it comes with 18 shades. When you open it up, you do have a mirror right here. Um, it does bend all the way back and you've got 18 divided into three rows with your mattes being your top row, your metallics, your second row, and your chromes, the third row. So let's go ahead and go through swatches first and then we'll go through all the details, comparisons, everything else after that. I have had a couple of people on Instagram say that they hope it is like this palette and so I've got thoughts for you on that as well. So let me grab the swatches and I'll be right back. The first four mattes are Pure, Mine, Digger, and Soil. If you can hear the TV in the background, it's because my husband's watching TV right outside this room. Next up, so these are gonna be the last two of the mattes. It's Wealthy and Lavish, and then we're gonna get into the metallics. So here you've got Hot Shot and Famed. So for reference, the two mattes and the first two metallics. The last four metallics are Bouillon, Trophy, Smelted, and Jewelry. Now we're getting into the chromes. So this is Precious, Fortune, Treasure, and Glorious. And they are very, very rich and very pigmented, which the metallics also swatched quite rich and pigmented, but these I feel are even more so. The last two of the chromes are uh, igneous and molten, with igneous being the orange shade I am wearing on my lid today. Okay. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and go over what I have on my eyes today and then I'll zoom you in so that you can kind of get a close up and see how it performs. For reference, I also will be posting a get ready with me at the end of this week doing a look with different shades than what I'm wearing today. But for reference, I am wearing the matte green in my crease called Digger and then I'm wearing one of the chromes on the outer portion of my lid. It's called Glorious. So here is Digger and then here is Glorious. And then on the majority of my lid, I'm wearing the orange shade called Igneous, which is probably my favorite shade in the palette. And then on the inner portion of the lid, I am wearing the shade Famed. It's a metallic. On the lower lash line, I am wearing the shade Wealthy right here. And then I did use Pure on my brow bone, which is kind of hit or miss for me to use a brow bone highlight, uh, but I remembered today. So I did use the shade pure on my brow bone highlight. So let me go ahead and zoom you in and I will take you through that one more time because I don't expect you to remember all that. So on my or in my crease I have the shade Digger. It's a matte green. It almost reminds me of like a split pea soup color. On the outer portion I have the chrome shade Glorious and then I've got the chrome shade Igneous as well. It's that orange shade and then the inner portion so inner corner and then taking it up right here is a gold metallic in the shade Famed. The lower lash line is the shade Wealthy and then on my brow bone I do have the shade Pure. So that is what we've got going on today. That's what we've got or that's what we're working with today. And like I said, we'll do a different look when we have our get ready with me later on this week. So let's just go ahead and start breaking down this eyeshadow palette because there's a lot here. There's a lot to go through. And if you are like me and you don't remember Makeup Forever coming out with a palette here recently, then you're probably wondering, okay, like, is it the same formula? Because we, like, I think they've got some of the best eyeshadow formulas on the market. I don't buy a lot of them unless they are placed in a palette. I don't buy their singles, um, but I have found that their palettes just have really great formula. Now, the mattes right here, they perform very, very well, just as I remember Makeup Forever matte shadows to perform. The only thing is with these shades because they're very you're going to find this palette is a very earthy type of shade they're very earthy tones they are neutral tones which I mean what what can you do uh, it's what keeps on coming out and I like that this is kind of a different take on neutrals but neutrals nonetheless but these are very earthy type of shades and I find with these mattes, they perform very well as far as blending, as far as pigmentation building up. There's not a whole lot of kick up hardly. I don't get any fallout. Um, but I do find that they start to look a little bit muddy very quickly. And so especially if I layer a couple of them, they start looking muddy and messy and I don't like that look. So I've gotten to where I pretty much use one shade for my crease and then if I want to deepen it up on the outer portion of the crease then I'll do that but as far as like deepening using a transition shade and then going into the crease as well with a deeper shade I don't do that because it ends up looking a little bit muddy and messy as far as the metallics they're pretty but I find that they swatch better than they go on the lid. And I've always said that you can't determine the quality of an eyeshadow based or a product in general based on the swatch. You really have to test it out and try it out. And this is one of those ones where it swatches better than it performs on the lid. I've tried it every which way, with my finger, with a wet brush. You guys know I love using the technique of putting my Fenty primer like without smoothing it out, just packing it on with the applicator and then going in with like a metallic or a sparkly um, type of shade. I have done this so much with these metallics and I don't get the same like wow factor that I get with most other eyeshadows. These just don't, they're a very muted type of metallic which is kind of weird. They don't look like metal like, they don't look shiny, they don't look um, the way metallics are supposed to look, you know, that foiled effect, you don't get that with these. And it might be because, again, the color scheme is a very earthy color scheme. I don't know if it's the formula, but I find that this row, the row of metallics, is my least favorite row out of the three. So keep that in mind as well. They take a little bit extra work to look pretty good. I won't, I won't say that they have looked amazing any time that I have used them. They look pretty good if you work with them. As far as the chrome row, this is my favorite out of the three. I find that they're easy to work with. They're very pigmented. Just the way they swatched is the way they go on the lid. I don't even have to use them wet. They go on very beautifully with a dry brush and they go on very nicely with a finger as well. Now, all of these have that gold twist to them in that they have gold 
um, I don't want to say glitter flex, but they've got some gold sparkle flex in there. It's not like chunky glitter, but it's that, you know, that Too Faced kind of glitter where if you sweep it on, it's going to fall off and you're going to be left with a matte shade. This is kind of along those lines, only better. Um, I find that the sparkle does stay within the formula a little bit better. I won't say that they're super creamy and it's like a super, you know, that it's mixed in very well. You still have to pack it on. If you sweep it, you're still going to get a little bit of that fallout, but if you pack it on, you're going to get a really nice rich chrome type look and like I said this row has been the one I have liked the most I'm almost kind of bummed that three of the shades are darker shades because I love these two the orange is my favorite and I kind of wish there was a little bit of a lighter shade within these so that I have a little more to work with as far as packing on my lid because I don't typically pack darker shades onto my lid I like to do lighter and then go deeper in other places but that's okay. This row is the best row in my opinion. Very rich, easy to work with, easy to build up. I wouldn't I wouldn't blend it a whole lot. I will tell you that Glorious is what I used on my outer uh, lid and I used it with kind of like a fluffy angled brush and I didn't do a lot of buffing or sweeping. I did a lot of packing and placing and it ended up working out just fine. I had no trouble. I didn't really have to like work at it. I feel like I'm using a lot of air quotes. I didn't have to work at it. It just went on very, very nicely. And again, this row is the row that is the best out of this whole palette. So there is that. Um, another thing I want to tell you is that it does come with, in case you're a beginner, which I don't know that I would recommend this palette if you are a beginner, just because it's got the different formulas and you may not know how to work with them. You may get frustrated and you know, that's the last thing you want to do. But Makeup Forever is very much like Too Faced in that, um, a lot of brands do this now where they'll include like cards for you, like how to tutorial cards. These are a little bit different. It's nothing like I've ever seen before because it will give you the look and then on the inside it will tell you how to you or like step by step how to do it. But there's also a place card for the palette. So you see how there's cutouts and what happens is you just place this. See if I can do this without messing everything up here. So in essence, you place this on top of your palette and it kind of just has the cutouts for the shades that you're supposed to use. And then you just follow the one, two, three to get the desired look. So if you are a beginner, at least there's that. Or if you're kind of lacking creativity, if you're kind of on a slump for creativity, at least you've got this in there. I find that I really never use the cards. I've always used YouTube and Instagram as, as kind of like my inspirations for looks and techniques and things like that. So I probably wouldn't hold on to these, but they're there if you want them. I forgot to mention the fun little tidbit of price. This is actually $45, which seems kind of reasonable for Makeup Forever, especially for a palette that feels this nice and has 18 shades. Now they are smaller pans of products. So for reference, I'm gonna give you a couple of different references. This was one of their previous palettes. This was the Artist Shadows volume. I don't know what volume, probably, oh, one. <laughs> so these pans of product are slightly bigger. I think they are, I don't know, nine at 1.8, yeah. So these are about, these are a little bit bigger. They're. 0 0.06 ounces and I think these are 0 0.03 so it looks like about half the size um, but this is what prior palettes have looked like this is the palette now and again I can't remember how much these used to be like 36 or 39 maybe and this um, is 45 which I think is very reasonable for makeup forever shadows I will tell you if you're wondering about the consistency compared to this I find it to be a little bit different and I don't know if they've changed the formula I don't know if that's why this is a little bit less is because maybe it's not as high a quality as their artist shadows I would think these would be um, it, it doesn't, I can't find anywhere where it says these are artist shadows. So I just don't know if these were created specifically for this palette. And I'm sorry, I did not do research on that before coming on and doing this video. So if you're wondering, my apologies, I'm not sure. But I do realize that these uh, metallics right here, they perform a little bit different than the metallics, for example, in this palette. This is the palette or one of the palettes I used for my wedding makeup and I could not have made a better choice. These, this is where I say Makeup Forever shadows are so good they're very high quality they're very pigmented they're very um they're very pretty on the eyelids um i find the metallics in this palette to be very 
creamy, a lot creamier than in the Let's Gold palette. So when I, um, when there's a eyeshadow palette or eyeshadow that has a creamier formula, I find out, I find that it goes on the lid like richer, more pigmented. I don't know. It's just more to cover or something like that. I don't know. But I do find that the metallics in here are richer and creamier than the metallics in here. So just for reference, I don't know if there's a difference in the formula. I would assume that there is. The other item that I wanted to point out is the Starlet palette because somebody had commented when I posted about this on Instagram, which you don't, if you don't already follow me on Instagram, you can find me at Michelle's Glamour. A lot of times when I find something new like this, I'll post about it. And so that way, you know, a review is coming. Somebody had posted um, a comment or made a comment saying they had hoped that this is going to be like this. Now, I'm going to just, I'm going to let you down if you um, were hoping that as well. This, like it explicitly says glitter. So you already know this is meant to be a glitter palette. And so all of the shades in this palette, if you aren't familiar with this palette, all shades in this palette are glitter eyeshadows. These are very metallic, very sparkly. They're nothing like the ones that we just went through. These are very, very different. And that this never said glitter on any part of it. This is strictly meant to be an eyeshadow palette. Um, that's, you know, there are no glitter shades aside from those chrome shades that have the glitter sparkles in them, but not necessarily a glitter eyeshadow, if you know what I mean. So if you were hoping to get in this, something along the lines of this, then it's definitely, they are night and day. As far as formula, they're very different. Um, definitely not the same thing. One claims it's glitter, the other does not. So that is the differences here. As far as whether I am dazzled or disappointed, oh, I, I kind of, I feel like I'm kind of indifferent. I, I would lean more towards disappointed only because I had hoped that the metallics in here would be super amazing and they just really um, weren't. So I'm definitely not dazzled by it. When I first opened it up, they did look muted and I was like, Oh, that's sad. <laughs> you know how kind of like one of those things where first impression when you open a palette, it's almost like when you know, you know that you're going to love it. And that's not always the case, but sometimes or a lot of the time. And it's kind of like this one. It had that same kind of feeling. I opened it up and I was like almost a little bit let down and I thought, okay, I need to test it out and use it out, use it. I need to play with it and see like it might be the best thing ever. And it just, it wasn't the best thing ever. I think you know, if you like earthy tones, if you like different formulas, then this could be for you. Um, just keeping in mind the mattes can get very muddy. Just know that um, the metallics take a little bit extra work and they are not going to be your super standout metallic shades that you can get with a lot of other brands. The chromes are beautiful, but do you really want to buy the palette just for the chrome row? I don't know. Uh, maybe you like earthy tones as a whole and you know that this is right up your alley. Anyways, so yes, it was kind of a, a little bit of a letdown, a little bit of a disappointment for me. Um, but, and th those are the reasons why, but if you are in the market for a makeup forever palette, for an earthy tone palette, for a neutral palette, and you're looking to stay in the price range of like 40 to $50, this is $45 and it might be for you, but that's my take on it. A little bit disappointed. That's okay though. Um, I do know they're releasing another palette. I don't know if Sephora is going to get it and I haven't really done a whole lot of research on it. Um, but it's my hope that this is the first in a few eyeshadow palettes again because we haven't seen a whole lot from Makeup Forever recently, so we'll see. All right, guys, that brings us to the end of this video. Before I let you go, I want to give you the verse of the day just to help motivate you to add some encouragement and inspiration to your day. Today's comes from John 14, 6, and it says, Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you are new to my channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing. I'd love to have you as part of this YouTube family. If you are looking for me on Instagram, like I said, you can find me at Michelle's Glamour. And if you did find this video helpful, I ask that you give it a thumbs up. That would really help me a lot. And I will see you guys in the very next video. Stay tuned if you're looking for a get ready with me using this palette. This will be, or that'll be up probably about Friday. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, see you very soon. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye everybody.